Okay? So let's say this angle here is going to be <clears throat> 15 degrees. And uh, let's see here. Let's, let's, it would be interesting to kind of see something here. What if we had 3.29 kilograms here again? It would be interesting to see, is this system going to accelerate faster than the previous one or slower? Remember before when we had 3.29 kilograms, it accelerated at uh, 1.24, uh, I believe, 1.24. So here, what's going to happen is this thing is pulling down. This is, is pulling, but the pulley is kind of high. So the tension T makes an angle with respect to the inclined plane. Sometimes you'll see problems like this in your homework or in the book. And uh, sometimes, instead of giving this angle, they might be giving this angle. Let's say they give that angle, 50 degrees. Okay. Now, what's going to happen here is as the 4 kilogram is dragged, this angle is actually going to increase, right, slightly. As it goes up the incline, the string goes up, 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 up like this. By the time the block ends up here, the string is kind of pointed more up. So the angle actually changes. But let's assume that the angle doesn't change that much. So assume it's constant. Okay? So how do we deal with this? So now, we, this one stays the same. We have uh, 3.29 times 9.8. Oh, before we get the answer, make a prediction now. Is this going to accelerate? More than 1.24? Was that 1.24 over there um, for the other one? 1.34. So let's predict. A, predict. I know you're not used to doing this in your math classes where they say, uh, make a prediction of the answer. No, they just want you to answer. Okay, Black and white. You can't make a prediction. Okay, But in physics, I want you to get in the habit of predicting, seeing if you can kind of tell what the answer is going to be before doing it, you know. Is it going to be, the other one was what, 1.34? Is it going to be more than 1.34, less than 1.34? Less? More. more. Okay, here, show of hands. Less? Okay, good. More? Wait, you raised your hand for both, didn't you? You didn't raise your hand for both? Oh, okay. Just covering the basis here. <laughs> okay. How about the same? It's going to be the same. No, nobody thinks it's the same. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, let me see. What do I think here? I think it's going to be less. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay. Now, why did you, who, whoever said yes, why is your reason? No, whoever said less than, what is your reason? Tension will be higher because it's angled. Um, okay. But this one is the same as before. Okay. Okay. Uh, anybody else? The, your uh, your reasoning didn't have anything about the angle. Uh, did you did you have did you say that? Hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. I think. Okay, well, let's do it, and then maybe come back and see what the ex best explanation is. So for this one, we still, the equation is the same. Okay, 3.29, 9.8 minus t is 3.29. The only equation that changes is this guy here, right? 
Now along the uh, y direction here, remember we're working with a rotated xy axis here. x prime, y prime. So we've got, now if the book or if any problem gives you this angle, you need to subtract this minus this angle to give you the angle of the tension with respect to the rotated uh, x-axis, right? So this angle really doesn't matter as much. So we, what you want is the 15 degrees, right? So it's going to look like this now, the forces on the 4 kilogram. 4, you've got the normal force. You've got 4 times 9.8 times a cosine of 35. You've got T cos 15 this way. You have T sine 15. And then you have 4 times 9.8 times sine of 35. So what the T sine 15 is doing is that it's helping to lift the block a little bit this way and it's reducing the normal force. Okay, It's reducing the normal force and if this had a problem had friction in it, by reducing the normal force it would reduce friction. Okay, But if this one doesn't have friction. So, so the, now what needs to happen is T cos 15 needs to beat 4 times 9.8 times uh, sine 35. So this one is going to accelerate this way, right? So T cos 15 minus 4 times 9.8 times uh, sine 35 equals 4A. Okay? So here's your two equations, two unknowns. Now what you could do here is divide everything by cos 15. That way I can get rid of the coefficient of t. Then I can add the two equations, the t will drop. Okay, so you're just left with this times this. minus this thing <coughs> equals, and then add these two, you'll end up with 3.29 parentheses plus 4 over cos 15 times parentheses A. You add this plus this, and then factor out the A. So now, do this minus this, divided by the sum of those two, that's A. Tell me what you get. Okay, we've got the answer here, which is uh, A is 1.23 meters per second squared. Others got that answer? Yeah? And it makes sense. It's a slightly less than the, the other answer from the other problem. So our prediction was right. The way that uh, maybe you were sort of hinting at this too, the way that I would say this is that because of this 15 degree lift, 15 degree uh, tilt, part of the tension is wasted. It's, it just goes into lifting the block only a portion of it gets, goes into accelerating the block. And that's why the acceleration is less. A lot of it, uh, in this case, some of it is wasted. It's uh, the 15 degree, sine of 15 degrees wasted. So that's the way that I would have said it, but you were hinting at that. Okay, so now let's get